Let me jab some of the Hi, my name is Lauren Zlesnick, and this is my speech on recycling. It is time for breakfast, so you walk over to the refrigerator to grab the milk for your cereal. You notice that the plastic jug has been emptied after you used it. So you bend down and stick it into the left side under your sink, which is your recycling basket, versus the right side under your sink, which is your waste basket. There is not much of a difference between recycling and throwing away your trash. Recycling can be such an easy thing to do, and according to the Benefits of Recycling Project, one ton of paper saves 17 mature trees, 7,000 gallons of water, three cubic yards of landfill space, two barrels of oil, and 4,000 4, kilowatt hours of electricity. This is enough energy for the average American home to use for five months. I can gladly say that my family has been recycling all possible items since I was born, thanks to my mom's green attitude towards the world. My mother has now also taken on the initiative to start a recycling program at the preschool she works at, which prior to five years ago was part of the percentage of America that did not recycle. Surprisingly, Brave New Leaf, an environmentalism website, states that a full third of Americans don't recycle aluminum cans, and up to 43% do not recycle paper or plastic. Today I'm going to share with you why recycling is a good thing to do for the environment. Some of the reasons include reducing the amount we use our landfills, reducing water and air pollution, and saving energy. Let's look at the effect that recycling has on the landfills in America. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, there are already 3,000 active landfills in America and over 10,000 old landfills. Recycling helps reduce the need for new landfills. Due to the fact that the new landfills are sealed tightly to avoid contaminating the environment, they are also preventing the organic waste from degrading. Right now, paper is a major portion of landfills, so if everyone could recycle paper, paper it would greatly reduce the amount of time each landfill could remain in use. Many of you may be wondering, well, who cares about landfills anyway? There are none near my house that I have to see or deal with. Unfortunately, the major problems we have with landfills affect almost everyone. They give off emissions to the atmosphere, and some of these emissions include noise, dust, odor, and landfill gas, which sticks around for several hundred years after a landfill opens. In addition, landfills bring emissions to the environment and water. They can contaminate surface water that runs into ditches, streams, and rivers. The gas emissions being given off and the water contamination can affect people that live far away from a landfill, even if you were unaware that it was affecting you at all. Last but not least, it will absolutely be a problem when we run out of space for landfills and there is nowhere to put our trash. Many people do not want to think about this near future problem, we can, but we can greatly prolong our landfills and reduce emissions if we recycle everything that we can. Many people wonder, wonder how can recycling really reduce our water and air pollution? Let me explain. Factories that make items like, that are recyclable, like plastics and metals, release large amounts of toxic gases. Due to the fact that the population keeps rising, the demand for these goods also increased. This, in turn, means that they will eventually need to create more factories to satisfy the demands of these goods. If we recycle these items, we can greatly cut back on the amount that need to be made and cut back the toxins coming from the factories. Not only are the factories a problem, but also when you throw away some items that can be recycled, such as plastics, they're oftentimes burned in incinerators. Plastics are made with oils, and when the oil is released into the air, it causes greenhouse gas emissions. Air is obviously a very important part of everyone's lives, but so is water. A lot of the garbage we place into landfills is not environmentally friendly or biodegradable. It is not surprising that some of the contaminants can run off, into the, run off from the landfills into our streams, rivers, lakes, etc. This causes these bodies of water to be unsafe to drink from and can seriously harm the different living things in these bodies of water. Like I have already stated, recycling reduces the amount of trash in the landfills tremendously, which can help our waters begin to become clean again. Finally, I would like to show you how doing something as simple as recycling can save energy. 
Recycling many of the products that we use takes much less energy than if we were to make them new. Recycling paper saves 65% energy rather than making it new. If instead of making new steel, one pound of steel is recycled, it saves enough energy to, to light a 60 watt light bulb for 24 hours straight. You may think, but it is not saving me energy. This is true. But on the other hand, the energy that it is saving will help us conserve the energy that we would otherwise need to get from oil. Oil is already a scarce resource for us, as you can tell from our gas prices. Something that appears to be so easy and help the environment so immensely goes unnoticed by so many Americans. The process of recycling is as easy as sticking your soda can, newspaper, and cardboard box into a trash can that sits right next to your wastebasket. Then once a week, when the trash man comes to pick up your trash, they'll pick up your recycles too, and both bins are newly empty again. Let's take a look at some of the common everyday items that can be recycled. These include newspapers, plastic bottles, cardboard, aluminum cans, cartons, and glass. And then a more in-depth look is batteries, electrical, fluorescent tubes, fridges and freezers, small appliances, TVs and monitors, large appliances, paper, cardboard, used engine oil, car batteries, scrap metal, food and drink cans, mobile phones, garden waste, plastics, cartons, wooden timber, mixed screens, water, and paint. As you can see, there are so many different items that can be recycled, and the process is so simple. Imagine a country that does not have to open new landfills and can spare everyone the odor and eyesore. In addition to reducing the greenhouse gas emissions coming from the landfills that are greatly affecting our environment. Imagine a country with less contaminated water, fresh water for everyone to drink, and including the species in the water that are now dying from landfill runoff. Imagine a country that has steadily decreasing gas prices because we are saving so much energy recycling a variety of products that we no longer need to import nearly as much oil. To produce just one ton of paper, 390 gallons of oil is used up. We could save those 390 gallons of oil. In today's world, you can get free recycling bins. In Philadelphia, you can call 215-685-RECYCLE to find out how to get a bin. Of course, cost free. Bucks County states that you can set out recycled products in a hard sided container that you already have. If you're not able to find a container, you can get a free recycling bin by calling 215-345-3414. They will give you information on how to obtain a free bin. Once you have a recycling bin, all you need to do is dispose of your plastic, paper, aluminum, etc. in the recycle bin instead of your waste basket. The only difference is bringing one extra bin to the end of your driveway on trash pickup day, and the recycle men will do the rest for you. There are enough plastic bottles thrown away each year to circle the earth four times. It's time to change this. We can reduce the use of our landfills, increase the quality of our air and water, which are necessary to survive, and save much needed energy. Let's start this process one bin at a time. Thank you for listening to my speech on recycling. I hope this encourages you to go out and recycle. Any questions, please feel free to ask me.